Well, I did. Got baptized in Jesus' name to get rid of my sins. I did that. And the Lord did what he said. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. And the rest is history. My past is behind me because I dealt with myself. You got to deal with yourself. Oh, it's easy to deal with somebody else. It's easy to give somebody else a piece of your mind. Why would you give yourself a piece of your mind? Yeah, right. uh -huh. <laughs> and do the I'm serious. Do the right thing. It's easy to lay out this so to lay out that brother. My God, they're not the one crying you to hell. Uh -huh. Your flesh crying you to hell. Yes. You need to look in the mirror and lay yourself out. So you're going to stop this man. I'm crying you to check. And I'm going to repent. I'm going to get saved. Say, you go along with me. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't saying uh -huh. nothing to me. Uh -huh. You're to deal with yourself. Huh? Santa can't put me in the hell for myself now. Come on, y'all. So you can't do it to me. I got to always deal with me. Hallelujah. You better deal with yourself. For your hands are defiled, and the Lord has given a list. There are many thousands of you viewing me. You need this, and you know what the problem is. You just need some preacher to get on the air and tell you and just, well, just reinforce what you already know. You're the problem. And I'm going to tell you, you are the problem. And I'm going to tell you how to get out of it too. I can tell you how to have peace and hope. Come on. I can tell you how to go through and walk with God. i tell you how to do it. You must have the Holy Ghost. You must be born again. Listen, Nicodemus, I want you to pay attention. You know, Nicodemus was a religious man. St. John chapter 3. You turn your Bible, you have a TV go off. When I go off, you get your Bible, turn to St. John chapter 3 and start reading. And you're going to find a religious man. You're going to find a Pharisee. You're going to find a man that sat on the Sanhedrin Council. You're going to find a man that was a master and a teacher of Israel. You're going to find a powerful religious man that came to Jesus Christ himself. And he came by night. And Jesus told this religious man, yes, you must be born again. Nicodemus had issues. That's why he told Jesus, we know that thou art teacher come from God. We know this. But then Jesus told Nicodemus, yes. Yes, you're on the council. Yes, but except a man be born again. Huh? He can't even see the kingdom of God. He said, except a man born of the water and of the spirit, he can't go there. He can't enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not physical, spiritual. And to enter this kingdom, no flesh and blood going to parade around the kingdom of God in heaven with him when he comes for the church like we do here now. You must be born of the spirit because the flesh going back to the earth and the rebirth spirit is going into the kingdom. That's why Nicodemus said, how can this be? I can't understand this. But let me tell you, a lot of you may say, how can that be? How can I be born again? I'm an old man. I'm an old woman. I'm a teenager. My mother gave birth to me. Yeah, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So you got to have a spiritual birth. What do you mean? David said, created me a clean heart. And renew the right spirit within me. So you got to have the Holy Ghost. You need the birth of the Holy Ghost. Now, since your sins is separated between you and your God, since your sins are blocking your prayers and he don't hear you, since your sins is blocking him and he's not saving you, now you ought to know something wrong. There's a block. There's a dam in the way. If you blow up the beaver dam, the water will flow freely. If you blow up that sin in your life and get it out of the way, then you are open for God to do all kinds of things for you. My God. Somebody said, how can you do it? Well, the first thing you must do is you repent. God don't need to repent. He's he holy. Always will be holy. What you need to do is repent. You need to turn from your sin because you can't serve God in sin. Matthew 1, 21. Thou shalt have to pray for the Son. Thou shalt call the name Jesus. He just saved his people. For, from. From sin. Not in them. From. So since Jesus 
It's going to save us from sin. Then, that means we got to do some repenting. Turn from it. Repentance. God is sorrow. In your spirit. What's my job? My job is to baptize you in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's for the remission of sin. Take them away. Mm -hmm. Now, guess what? Now you're ready for the Holy Ghost. And the Bible said, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's a promise. That's the thing that breaks the yoke. The Holy Ghost breaks down that barrier. That Holy Ghost blows up the dam that's blocking between you and God. Huh? He said, your hands are defiled, iniquities and sin. We coming back. You got 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Start reading somebody. Read. Thank you, Jesus. No, ye not. No, ye not. The unrighteous, the unrighteous inherit the kingdom of God. Shall not what? inherit the kingdom of God. Not going. Read. Be not deceived. Don't let nobody fool you, television audience. Mm -hmm. Neither fornicators. Fornicators are not going. You would know that. Mm -hmm. Sexual sins and you're not married. Mm -hmm. In the bed having intercourse sex single people. That's fornicating. The Bible says you're not going. Not me. The Bible says you're not going. Mm -hmm. That's a sin. That's why God and I hear your prayer. Yes, sir. And there's many thousands of you watch me in that condition. See? That's why God and I hear your prayer. That's why he's not saving you. That's why all these things are happening. Isaiah said it. Paul comes in the New Testament and backs it up. Fornicators, you're not going, me. Mm -hmm. No idolaters. Idol worshippers, you're not going. Mm -hmm. You can't have serve idols. American idol. <laughs> you can't serve idols. Really? You can't serve idols and go to heaven. Idol can be anything. Through that end. It can be anything. Anything that you put above or equal to God. It's an idol God. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Now this time of year, all I gotta do is mention Santa Claus and church folks go crazy. He is an idol, you know. I hate to bless your mother. You lying to your children, so you ain't going to hell. See how tight the Bible is? You tell the lies to your children. Oh, you're Santa Claus. You're lying. So you say, well, that don't matter. It's just a lie. It's a lie. It's a white lie. It's a black lie. It's a little bit of lies. It's a big lie. It's just a lie. I'm going to hear it on So you're lying to your children. Santa Claus is a lie. If you're in the room, you better hurry up and get them out. Santa Claus is a lie. Christmas is an idol. I don't celebrate it. It ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus ain't linked up with that mess. Right. Christmas, Santa Claus is an idol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on, work the job, get that double pay. Why you'll be off? Right. <laughs> I was my job. We'll offer double pay to work on Christmas Day. I'm not on the Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, too. <laughs> and New Year's. Y'all don't ever give to me. <laughs> and don't honor Christ. Mm -hmm. I do it honor Christ when everybody get drunk. Get drunk on his birthday. They say his birthday. Get drunk on it. It ain't his birthday. Mind the word that Jesus was born December 25th, and you don't have no year. That don't make much sense. You got a month and a day, but you couldn't come up with a year. Yeah. Nobody knows. It's not recorded in the Bible. It ain't the truth. It ain't recorded. This stuff ain't in the Bible. Santa Claus, Santa Lot. Santa Claus is an idol. And you wonder why God not hearing it. You're serving that idol. Yeah, that's right. So I, I don't bow to him. You ain't got to bow to him. You serve him. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just teaching the hard truth. Somebody need this. Because your prayer's not heard. Yeah. It's not, now I know there's thousands of people that watch this broadcast. You're depressed. You're taking Prozac. I know this. You're taking Valium. I know there are thousands and thousands of people watching this broadcast. You got a problem. You got a problem. Spiritual problem. I'm telling you how to come. Get rid of all the stuff that's blocking God. What else won't go on here? No adulterers. Adulterers and murder folks having sex outside their house. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? Huh? <laughs> Husband got a girlfriend. Wife got a boyfriend. That's adultery. Mm -hmm. Ain't going to heaven. Bible said not going. Mm -hmm. 